this GPU is going to absolutely destroy the RTX 3090. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Exter. Exter is the world's largest smart wallet brand bringing innovative and compact designs right to your pocket. What's great about Exter wallets is that unlike many other traditional wallets, they're small and easy to carry around wherever you go, avoiding the horrid wallet bulge. Additionally, Exter wallets have an RFID blocking plate, a band to hold your cash, and can easily eject your cards with the push of a button, making payments faster than ever. And right now through June 20th, Exter is running a Father's Day sale with up to 25% off site-wide. So if you want a modern, compact, and utilitarian wallet, be sure to click the link in the description below to find out more. All right, so some new information regarding AMD's next generation GPUs was just posted online, and this time we're specifically talking about what is likely going to be either the 7700 XT or the 7700. So that's gonna be uh, the replacement for the current 6700 XT and what is eventually likely going to be the 6700 as well. However, we don't have that GPU yet. But according to this information, information that was first posted over on Twitter by the leaker Vegeta and then actually later was corroborated by the uh, YouTuber Red Gaming Tech. It looks like, at least according to them, they're expecting uh, the Navi 33 or the 7700 XT to be up to 1.5 times faster than the current 6900 XT. So that of course would be a similar level of performance to the RTX 3090 as the 6900 XT and 3090 are kind of in that same position there. So what that tells me is that if this does end up being true, well, we're going to be looking at a GPU that is going to be a mid-range GPU next time around that could be significantly faster than both the 6900 XT and RTX 3090, which is absolutely incredible. And in fact, at least according to Red Gaming Tech, the uh, 7700 XT, or at least that's what I'm going to be calling the Navi 33 die from now on, uh, is also going to be having much better ray tracing performance as well and could actually be a little bit better than what NVIDIA is currently using in their Ampere GPUs. And hopefully these next generation AMD GPUs do end up being incredibly fast as these recent leaks and rumors are suggesting. Remember that uh, Red Gaming Tech is also stating that the uh, next generation 7900 XT could be over 2.5 times as fast as the 6900 XT. So that's absolutely incredible. Um, but there is one issue I have with the 7700 XT and the 7900 XT being as fast as they're reportedly going to be. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be impossible. It is, in theory, uh, completely possible for these GPUs to be this fast, but they are going to have to tackle a memory bandwidth problem as well as with the 7900 XT having multiple GPUs on one single graphics card, there's going to be a bit of a latency problem to get over as well. But focusing in on the 7700 XT and the bandwidth problems that it could be facing, well, currently uh, the 6700 XT is using GDDR6 and it's running at 16 gigabits per second. And so if they did move to GDDR6X, they could potentially get upwards of like 20 gigabits per second. But even that would only be in theory around 25% more memory bandwidth than what we currently see on the 60. 700 XT. So yeah, that's definitely going to limit the amount of performance that they can squeeze out of the 7700 XT, even if it does have higher IPC as, uh, yeah, memory bandwidth is currently a problem on the 6700 XT and the 6900 XT already. So moving forward to a GPU that's going to be much more powerful, that memory bandwidth is only going to be more of an issue. Now, there are some ways they could potentially get around this. They could potentially double or triple the amount of L3 cache by using their new 3D V cache that was first debuted on the 5900 X that they showed off that was modified during one of their uh, streams recently. And so that could definitely be a way that they could potentially get around a lot of those memory bandwidth issues. But I still am a little bit concerned uh, over that memory bandwidth. And I think there are going to be some games or applications where you're not going to see the scaling, uh, you know, perfectly. Maybe the 7700 XT in certain applications uh, will be 1.5 times as fast. And maybe in other applications, it'll be a little bit closer to the regular 6900 XT performance. Or maybe it'll be like 10 or 20% faster in certain games and applications where memory bandwidth is going to be a big problem, especially if you're taking a look at stuff like mining where memory bandwidth is a huge issue. These things are probably not going to be very good at mining whatsoever, at least compared to NVIDIA's next generation GPUs. So for gamers, that's probably a good thing for you guys as you're probably not going to have to be competing with as many miners trying to buy up these GPUs. However, again, this is potentially going to have some performance issues uh, depending on what application they go with. Now, of course, they could potentially go with GDDR7 if that does end up releasing in time, uh, but that's something we don't really know about right now. But overall, if that was to give my thoughts on this, you know, is this actually going to be true? Is the, you know, next generation 7700 XT mid-range type of GPU actually going to be able to absolutely cream the RTX 3090? Well, you know, honestly, I think it definitely is possible considering that the recent leaks and rumors suggest that the 7700 XT could have the about the same or similar amount of CUs 
as the 69 XT and then you throw in the extra clock speed and IPC. Yeah, it definitely will be, I think, faster than the 6900 XT, but only time will tell just how much faster it's going to be. And personally, I'm kind of betting more on the 25 or 30% faster than the 6900 XT and not that mammoth 50% faster, at least on average during games. But this definitely does spell some serious trouble for NVIDIA as if AMD's GPUs do end up being, you know, with their flagship GPU upwards of 2.5 times faster or greater than the 6900 XT. And even the 7700 XT is going to be beating the RTX 3090 by a significant margin. NVIDIA better have some serious stuff up their sleeve if they want to compete with these GPUs. And I'm actually a little bit nervous that NVIDIA won't be able to compete uh, very well against AMD's next generation GPUs as these leaks are pointing to some extremely fast GPUs coming out from AMD. And I think NVIDIA is going to have a tough time trying to match those GPUs, especially the GPU, the 7900 XT, which is going to be an MCM design. And I don't believe that NVIDIA is going to have an MCM design ready on their GeForce products uh, by the RTX 40 series. It's more likely going to be the RTX 50 series before you see a multi-chip module design. So yeah, NVIDIA is definitely in a bad place here. And so they're just going to have to have some serious IPC gains as well as some serious uh, clock speed gains if they're going to have any hope of competing with AMD. But hey, that's just what I think. How fast do you think the 7700 XT is really going to be? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.